great students. And uh, he really shaped my programs to come afterwards. And uh, I can't thank him enough for giving him, giving me everything that that he did, and giving, and showing me how to, to give back to students because he's done that incredibly well. I can't thank Danielle and Holly for asking me to be a part of this. Uh, I've been on cloud nine since since it's started, but um, they came to me and asked. Uh, different things that Richard did to the band, and one of the things that, that we decided on that was unique and it would show up throughout the years was a trick that he would do to get the kids energized. There was a thing called Energy Ball. And um, he, he never told me that he was going to do it, he just did it, and it was a fantastic little trick that um, the kids, I mean, middle school kids, it could be late in the day, it could be a contest, it could be the warm-up room in UIL, and he needs to grab their focus, he needs to get them excited, energy on the piece. And uh, he would have the kids clap their hands on the, the count of three, and then they would go back and forth crazy fast with their hands, just creating lots of friction. And uh, then about after 20, 10 seconds of the friction, then he would form this ball, and he'd have all the students form this ball, right? And they could feel the energy between their hands, right? And then at the last second, all the kids would swallow the energy ball, and then they would be ready to go. Um, Carol has done an incredible job capturing this piece, and um, it's, it's very fun to play. I think it's going to get played for many, many years, and Mr. G's spirit is now going to live on, not just in San Antonio or in Texas, but across the United States, and who knows, maybe the world. Um, I guess we should play it. <laughs> I'm very, very excited to present Carol Chambers' Energy Ball. Thank you. 